Well, downstairs at Eckhart Hall, it has been turned into a skateboard park. They're working hard on a half pipe, and there's nobody else happier to see that than Jamie Isaac. And Jamie, congratulations, girl. You have curated two incredible exhibitions. Thank you. Yeah, it's very exciting. Um, it's also exciting to have a half pipe in, in the Winnipeg Art Gallery and to invite um, Indigenous skateboarders in to, to skate the space and um, the larger skate community to come and check it out. It's going to be really great, I think. Now, you have a very big title. You're currently the curatorial resident of Contemporary and Indigenous Art. Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Good memory, yeah. Yes. With the Canada Council. Yes. Mm -hmm. So now the two exhibitions, their they're titles and I guess, I guess the purpose of this. Uh, so the first exhibition um, in Gallery 5 is Vernon Aki, and that's um, organized by the National Gallery mm -hmm. um, alone. And that's an exhibition onto itself, but it's also related to um, the Border, Border X um, exhibition in Gallery 7. Okay, so the connection between land and culture and surfing and skateboarding and that whole kind of, I guess, idea of bringing it all together and how is it related to the Indigenous culture? Well, I, I've been thinking about this exhibition for a long time. Um, I enjoy skateboarding and, and snowboarding and surfing myself and I really started snowboarding and skateboarding uh, in my childhood and it was a really important way for me in terms of belonging and relating to the land um, in a really significant and healthy way. Really snowboarding and, and skateboarding followed uh, after surfing which is um, originating in pre-contact uh, Polynesian indigenous communities and um, first written about in the late 1700s. So there's this root um, that is indigenous about these sports and I'm bringing together artists that have thought about their boarding practices um, and their culture um, and, and their art practice together. And they think about relating to the land in different ways um, through their interdisciplinary art practices. Everyone in the show is, is very different, um, but what they have in common is that they um, either surf, snowboard, or skateboard, or some of them do it all. Wow. It's really incredible that your mind can take together all those elements and create something that really touches people at their hearts, right? Well, I'm hoping so. I think it's also really exciting and it brings a different um, energy mm -hmm. into uh, in an institution and in an arts, arts gallery. It's also really um, challenging the art historical canon about mm -hmm. what, is, what is art and the topics that can be really discussed through art. And challenging the idea of an institution and bringing in uh, like I said before, <laughs> a half pipe. I know. I wonder if Stephen's actually going to get his board down there. <laughs> well, I, I think uh, I think only professionals will be in oh, the, the half pipe. Oh, so right. You might okay. just have to step aside for a change. <laughs> uh, one last question, though. We know that the half pipe is not going to stay. So, looking for a place for it in the community. After the exhibition, we're going to be looking for uh, a home for it, so uh, really open to ideas about uh, where it's going to live after the exhibition. Vans has been an excellent sponsor. Um, yes. They're making you know, it happen with a half pipe, um, and so they've been really great to work with and a good wow. company. I just had to plug in. <laughs> I know. It's, it takes one community to build something as big as this. Once again, it's at the WAG. It'll be up until spring. For Backstage On Go, I'm Tracy Koga.